Hello everyone and um, welcome to my third video tutorial on DHCP configuration. Uh, in this tutorial I will focus on uh, inter-VLAN configuration that's configuring a router on a stick as a DHCP server. Um, I want the headquarter router down here to assign IP address settings to each VLAN uh, with IP addresses provided. The VLAN 1 dot one dot zero VLAN two dot two dot zero VLAN three dot three dot zero and uh, when PC two in VLAN two uh, broadcast for an IP address, the headquarter was assigned only within the dot two dot zero network, not dot one and likewise uh, VLAN one and VLAN three. The inter VLAN configuration is not just for data configuration; it can be used also to, uh, with voice over IP, wired IP phones with uh, IP address settings. And we don't need to configure IP helper address as all subnets are handled as a local area network, despite of using three different subnets. If we do have an uh, an standalone or a dedicated server connected to the headquarter office router, in this case, we need to configure the router as a relay agent by configuring the IP helper address. Let's go ahead and configure the DHCP server to support the three subnets or the three VLANs. VLAN 1 is a native VLAN, so we configure it on the interface itself and without any encapsulation. We create sub interfaces for VLAN 2 and 3 with encapsulation of that one queue. And the VLAN for VLAN 2, we assign the IP address. Similarly, for, for, for sub interface for VLAN 2, 3, encapsulation dot one q VLAN 3, and assign the IP address. The very important thing, when uh, because we don't have uh, IP helper address configured, how does the uh, the router knows which IP address is should be assigned if a host requests it an IP address? Make sure you have the sub interfaces is configured correctly with both the VLAN it belongs to and its IP address. When a host sends a DHCP discover message, the switch will tag it with uh, the appropriate VLAN tag, then forward it to the DHCP server. The DHCP server will compare the tags with the ones uh, already configured with its interfaces or sub-interfaces and, and assign IP addresses from that pool. Go ahead and compare the DHCP for the sub-interfaces or for the VLANs. With the DHCP pool, I'm going to configure only the uh, default gateway and network. Having done that, let's uh, verify the configuration. Now, assuming everything is configured correctly on the DHCP server, let's verify our configuration. I'm going to turn the debugging of DHCP messages on this router. And try to get IP addresses for hosts on VLAN 1. Get assigned a uh, 1.2 IP address. If you notice, for with uh, VLAN 1, the native VLAN, we don't have any encapsulation being sent with this packet. So the native VLAN as it are sent intact. Let's get assigned an IP address for the host on VLAN 2. Get assigned to dot uh, 11 IP address. If I select the broadcast or the uh, VLAN 2s, you can see the dot 1Q tag has been uh, set here for VLAN 2. Let's see the debugging. It's allocating address from uh, 2.0 IP address and assigned 2.11. Let's see if the for a host on VLAN 3, we get an IP address of 3.11. This is the subnet for VLAN 3, and this is the IP address is offered by the DHP server. Discover message you can see is tagged with VLAN.1Q uh, with VLAN ID of 3. 
see the DHCP binding uh, addresses we can use the show IP DHCP binding and we can see the three addresses that are assigned by this DHCP to the horses and thank you for watching